In this video, I am going to explain about the usage of matrices for cryptography. Cryptography to most of us is concerned with keeping communication private. What is cryptography? A cryptogram is a message written according to the secret code. It came from the Greek word cryptos, which means hidden. The basic idea of cryptography is that information can be encoded using an encryption scheme and decoded by anyone who knows the scheme. So the scheme, encryption scheme must be known to a person who decodes and encodes the message. There are lots of encryption schemes ranging from very simple encryption scheme to most com very complex encryption scheme. Most of them are mathematical background. It is highly impossible to decode or encode without the mathematical um, background. Matrix encryption is one among the encrypting scheme. Nowadays, sensitive information is sent over the internet every second like credit card numbers, personal, personal information, bank account numbers, letters of credit, passwords for important databases, etc. So these are encoded and encrypted and sent. For a matrix, a matrix encryption, we need two things. One is an encoder matrix and the other one is a decoder matrix. The decoder matrix will be the inverse of the given encoder matrix. Encoder matrix will be given and we have to find the inverse of it to get the decoder matrix. For example, if A is the encoding matrix and M is the message matrix and X is the encrypted matrix, then mathematically the operation is going to be to encode the message matrix X will be the product of the matrices A and M, where A is the encoding matrix and M is the message matrix. Here we have to be very careful that the sizes of A and M are consistent. In other words, whenever we multiply two matrices A and M, the number of columns of the first matrix must be the same as the number of rows of the second matrix. That is, number of columns of the encoding matrix A must be the same as number of rows of the message matrix M. To decode, to get the message M, we have to multiply the inverse of the given encoder matrix, which is nothing but the decoder matrix and we have to multiply that by the encrypted matrix X. So M, the message M will be A inverse multiplied by X. The encoding matrix A must have the inverse inverse. Otherwise, if it doesn't have an inverse, then we cannot convert that into a decoded matrix. When I say that the matrix A inverse um, should exist means the determinant of A should not be equal to zero. And also the matrix A must be a square matrix. To begin with, we have to assign numbers to the alphabets. All those uh, 26 alphabets are given from the letters from A through See, the alphabet is a given numbers 1 through 26. And the gap in between words, which is denoted by the blank symbol here, will be assigned the number 0. So using this under consideration, let us try to uh, give some example, decode and encode the message. Let's take this example to de-encode a message. We have to encode the message, the eagle has landed using the coding matrix A, which is a 4 by 4 matrix 
3011-1250-1130-2011. So to encode this message, we have to translate the word the eagle has landed to numbers using the list which I provided earlier. We can translate that to the uh, number. So T denotes the number 20, H denotes the number 8, like that. We can try to translate these words into numbers, then create your matrix using these numbers. So that is my message matrix M. Now I can write this as 4 by 5 since I have got 20, 20 elements here. Suppose if I am running short of numbers, maybe I can use blank here. So here x is equal to the product A, which is the coded matrix given, multiplied by the message matrix what we created. When I multiply, I'll get this again by 4 by 4 matrix. So the ultimate encryption message will be the one what is shown below 65, 61, 43, 45. So this message will be sent to uh, the receiver. We can also get these results using a graphing calculator by taking the encoded, uh, sorry, the coded matrix as uh, A, the matrix code as A, and the message M as B here. I can find the product A times M that will be my x. The x value, that is the message matrix, what they are going to get is the product AB. So this can be easily obtained using my graphing calculator. Let us try to decrypt the message what we got. And we have to get the original message given like this. Let's see whether we are going to get this message. Now, in order to do this, we know that the coded matrix, the message code is given by the letter A. And this implies I can easily get the A inverse. We have already seen how to get the inverse matrix. We can enter this in a graphing calculator to get A inverse. And this is our A inverse matrix. And the message, uh, coded message was this, X. And we have to get the matrix M, which is the message matrix, which is A inverse times X. When we multiply A inverse on X, we get this matrix, which is given there. And let's see whether we get the actual message. What was sent is yes, when we convert this uh, into the decoded message, we get the eagle has landed. This can also be the inverse and uh, the product can e easily obtained by using the graphing calculator. When A is already known, A inverse can be obtained and A inverse times the product AB, which is nothing but my uh, message, will be uh, the original message M. See this A inverse times A. So you know that this A inverse times A is nothing but the identity matrix. So identity matrix, this is this is what we took as M. I times M will be the message matrix. So the message matrix, whatever we get here, will be the message matrix. In your graphing calculator, if you find this, see negative 5, E raised to negative 13, this is a very small uh, number. So you can treat this as the integer 0 here. And that's what we were getting in our original message. So it is easy for us to compute the results using our graphing calculator. But the main thing is we have to make use of the matrices to code and encode the message. So in this video, we used matrices for cryptography. And cryptography has to be kept private and secret. Hope you understood how to make use of these matrices in high level of cryptography communication from one end to the other where you can keep all the messages secret and secured. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and hope this video was helpful uh, and you, it gave you a clear idea of what 
the cryptography means and how to make use of matrices. Thank you. Thank you for watching.